there's some uh, there's some really cool cats playing some really cool music in the Clarksville music scene. I think the scene's very um, nurturing, I guess, is a way to put it, because this is where I started everything, you know? You really want my truthful thoughts? Yeah. You wrapped up my arms so tight. You see, like, I just found my voice now. It always yeah, takes me a second to get into it. That's why I'm like, whenever I play a show, like, my first song's always rough. Mm -hmm. But then, like, once I get into the vibe and I find, like, the right voice for it, you know, it's Gucci. <laughs> um... Because all I want to do is shoot with you and watch the stars come out Sun goes down and moves will break But you wrapped up and my arms so tight All I want to do is shoot with you All I want to do Um, I think I was in the sixth grade And uh, I was actually talking about this with a friend the other day Um, this uh, Christmas commercial came on TV And it would have been like right over there, you know what I mean, that house And um, it had Jimi Hendrix's Purple Haze and I was like, yo, what is this? I've never heard rock music before. Like, well, what's go. going on? Okay, you know, and I was like, yo, can I get a guitar for Christmas? Like, please. Yeah, it was bad. I was glued to the guitar. Like, I would be the guy to have an electric guitar in class, trying to play it during, like, free time. There we go. OK, I got that start. And I'm gonna hit it with a little. Um... I'm, I'm a big fan of the pretty chords, that's how I say it usually. Guitar helped me get through a lot of, uh, I guess, weird times, you know, and it, it's like literally like a brain high, like a stimulation, you know, anytime you learn something new or you see yourself improving, getting faster, you know, you're like, I couldn't do that like two months ago. I can't get it to stop up here. It's always t -t 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 -t. no matter if I wanted music to be a part of me or not, I'm stuck with it. I can't do no what no. Thing. <laughs> I mean, it started when I was three or four when I got my first guitar. Obviously, I didn't know what I was going to do with it or how to play it or anything. It's been very hard to try to find committed musicians that will sit there and put in the time to form a band. So for years, I just do it for myself, the songwriting. When it comes to a singer-songwriter style of music, it, it feels like it touches me. I could connect to them. They're telling parts of their lives. It, it, it's real. And can make you emotional as to where just a regular commercial song just doesn't do it for me. Uh, I'm a member of a couple bands, namely uh, Fever. When I got into writing music, I wanted to make a career out of it. I've always wanted to make a career out of it. We mostly just play original material. I mean, we do what we got to do to uh, to make a little bit of money. bars and we we actually really enjoy playing bars sometimes uh, because you know we will play covers uh, but 
We always play our original music too. And we actually pick up a lot of fans doing that. You know, the, the environment in the community was a lot different. It was really a college town that you would think of, a small college town. And there were music clubs and music venues everywhere. Because there, there would be bands performing in 20 plus clubs any night of the week. A band uh, gets together, you know, plugs in, gets everything set up, tuned up. And you know they collectively write a song together. You know, what I mean, it's it's literally from all of them put into the pot. You know, and just pour it all in, and uh, it's it's literally let's say it's four guys. It's just four guys together. You know, what I mean, um, an artist I believe is uh, a little more personal. You know, it's one person digging deep into their feelings, and um, you know, <laughs> writing music and then. Uh, finding the right people to play it along with them that they trust, you know, enough to come into that bubble and uh, kind of, I guess, spread the experience. It's really hard to get a, a group of people together in a band and make it last. Huh? What? What'd you say? What'd you say? All right, that's what it's going to be. Easy, girls. Easy. Come on. We'll buddy. talk shit about Garth Brooks in the same sentence. Be like, Jesus, Jesus. You have to not only enjoy like really enjoy playing together and writing together, but you also have to really enjoy being around those people because you're gonna be around them a lot. I mean, it's, it's almost like you're dating a group of people. It's, it's a lot of commitment. I think it was um, 30 years ago, I guess it was. Um, we had formed a band. There are a lot of bands that break up, or it's not for any financial reason, but there are personality clashes. Mm -hmm. You've got a group of people, and everybody has an individual personality in some clash. And one of the major reasons that they break up is because of personality. You know, if, if we're gonna, if we're really gonna be pushing this and everything, we, we really can't have, you know, side projects getting in the way of our main projects. I would say I was a member of a band, um, but we uh, sadly divided. You know, uh, they they're doing the daddy life. I'm proud of them. Like I still talk to them on a daily basis. You know, what I mean, see how they're doing. Go over to their houses, bug them. The fact that they took those man hours to help my little old self with my emotional writings and you know everything like I'll go to hell and back for him I love him to death whenever you know I have some upcoming shows you know I might make another group you know and bring some people together but I, I think it's an artist with uh, a band <laughs> I've been a member of at least four half-assed bands that don't work because at the end of the day most people suck as people I can't tell you when it comes to major breakups or anything like that because I haven't found the people that are dedicated and loyal enough to make it to that point to have that issue. And it makes you want to revert back. And me, I sit in my living room. I have all the different instruments, but instead of being let down by people not showing up and 
and not really putting their heart into it. I know when I'm sitting there in my living room writing music and, and singing to myself in the wall, it's gratifying. I know what I'm doing and I'm gonna be dedicated to it. So at this point in my career where I'm at, yeah, hopefully I'd like to find a band, but if not, I'm gonna sit there and know that I'm enjoying writing without any stress from anything else and it's gonna release me from everything that's going on in the day. It's, it's, it's really fun uh, to show the world what you came up with, what's going on in your head. But I would say that the most joy and satisfaction comes from writing. So you know how we both do solos when doing that part? <clears throat> what I do... I'm going to play a solo the first one. Yeah, 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 yeah. And that song. So what I do when it comes back into that verse, I don't play anything until it goes. Sometimes you write a song for yourself too. I, I got kicked out of this band I was in, and uh, and that's that's one time I wrote a song for myself, and I was just kind of down. Uh, I didn't really know what to do. Say time's wasted, that ain't gonna change for me. Say my time is wasted. I kind of, uh, I kind of put all my eggs in this this music basket. You know, that's that's what I'm trying to do. And when uh, when a project that I I was working really hard on. Um, you know, when something like that falls through and everything, you got you, you feel like you're back to square one and you're like, well, what do I do now? And that's, that's, kind, of, that's kind of what I wrote that song about. You can say time's changing, Lord, ain't changing me. You can say my time's wasted, and I guess I'd have to agree. You can shine a light on a crooked mind, there's still nobody to see. There's a hundred ways that the world could change and it wouldn't change a damn thing. Not one damn thing. It was an alright song, you know. But I you know, I still like it because it it means something to me, you know. When I sit down and I write a song, I already see it as a short film in my in my mind. And nothing better as an artist than to be able to take your sh short film that you hear in your mind and see it. I've heard of people talking about writing, you know, like, I don't want to say fictitious, that's the wrong I'm word for it, like uh, fictionally? I don't, I don't know, where they like make it up as they go and, you know, sky's the limit and like what can, you know, be in that song, but I prefer to write from uh, personal. This is Dylan, he is number one prostitute in all of Kazakhstan. So, like, if you take the song Girl from Texas, it's like, I was head over heels in love with the girl from Texas. There's, there's certainly, we certainly have a lot of bands that are in Clarksville, that are playing out, you know, trying to make a name for themselves, and, and they are a, a variety of bands. But it's the, the venues, there's a lack of venues, and the, the clubs are smaller, and, and so the opportunities for the musicians aren't as great. I mean, we've, we've played Nashville for free, and we've played for gas money or just to help someone out. I mean, it's, it's truly a, a, a labor of love, it, but it is work. It's work. I honestly still don't understand why people play. Or people pay me money to um, play. I never really book shows it's it's more or less i'm just kind of asked like hey um do you want to play such and such date and i'm like sure yeah I'd, I'd love to you know i'd love to come and you know share you know some music because you know i, I kind of enjoy it i'm used to doing it for free you know what i mean but when they're like oh yeah we'll play you x amount to play for like two hours i'm like okay <laughs> You know, it's, it's like the icing on top of the cake, you know, but even if I wasn't getting paid and I went somewhere and I did something, I'd, you know, be like, 
happy as heck. I don't care who wants to lie to you when they do these interviews. It's all a hobby until it's not. A lot, of, a lot of musicians will go around telling you that, oh, this is what I do for a living. No, you fucking don't. You go to work all day, just like I do. And then out of the love for it, you go and do your shows at night because it's not a living until you're doing it six, seven days a week. It's paying all your bills and you're putting money in the bank. So yeah, it's a hobby. A good one that I love. <laughs> There's, there's, like I said, there's more than one music scene around here. I mean, there's people who only play at the warehouse. You know what I mean? And it's because other places in town won't have them. And it's because they're too hard. They might be able to get into Wicked Good. Wicked Good might do something special, like a metal night or something for them. They're really, they're really supportive people but it's not the norm. So that whole group of people basically has to play house shows or at the warehouse. I can't walk the streets now. I, I'd have to say um, right off the top of the head, my top three would be Wicked Good Sandwiches, for sure. I would not even be playing music if it wasn't for them. They gave me my first show, Jason Yates and Patty. Um, they literally put me on the map, you know what I mean? Like, they were like, yo, you play music? Yeah, yeah, come on, just, just try it out. And turns out I'm pretty okay at it, I'm not too bad. Uh, the Gilroy, for sure, they uh, allowed me to host an open mic night for a good two years. Uh, I met so many artists that way and um, literally made some of the greatest friends, without a doubt. There is no scene in Clarksville. You have a couple good places that'll let you play if you have this band, and, 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 and for the artists that are solo artists, which I know of many here in Clarksville that are amazing, they'll never get a voice, they'll never be heard, because you, you just don't have any venues, there is no music scene, it's the same thing year after year. Oh, Rivers and Spires. Well, after so many years of that, come up with something else, please. could have such a scene in Clarksville, but we don't. Every, everybody is too selfish or, or, get, or, or gets wrapped up in, in everyday life that they, they just fizzle out. A town is a town is a town is a town. You know, we don't put Nashville on our Facebook page like a bunch of other cats do. Like, dude, you're not from Nashville, man. Most of the musicians in Nashville are not from Nashville. You know what I'm saying? Nobody gives a fuck about that anyways. Nobody cares that you, you say you're from Nashville. You know, that doesn't mean shit. You know, say where you're from, because that's more interesting to me. But just cut the shit, man. I think um, if I started playing music in Nashville, uh, things would have probably been, I believe, way harder to kind of get out there, you know what I mean? You gotta know the right people, make the right friends. Nashville's really huge, diverse, you know what I mean? But here it's like a little smaller, so you know, it, it allows more people, I guess, to get to know you quickly because, you know, word of mouth, friends, not, you know, too big. There is really cool shows to play in this town. And then, I mean, just like any other place, there's really shitty shows to play too. You know? And then there's, uh, there's shows that are some, somewhere in between. They might not even be having any fun, but people came to watch you play. You know, so you owe it to them to uh, to give to give it your all. Kids, if you see this, pick up an instrument. You know what I mean? Because not many kids are playing instruments nowadays. I'm gonna teach my children how to write and play music, whatever instrument they want. And I'm gonna keep playing every day, whether it's in my living room or whether it's on a stage or it's whether 
all of a sudden I find that there's a benefit going on somewhere and trying to help somebody and donate my time to doing that. Our sound is from Clarksville and the world's gonna know what the Clarksville sound is when all these badass bands from Clarksville one day make it, you know, at least a little bit further, you know. They're gonna know that Clarksville sound. Cause we got a sound, it's dirty. Be sure to tune in to 91.9. The music is consistently diverse and always commercial free. That's right, we're WAPX FM, Clarksville, 91.9.